Hi, my name is Matt and I'd like to welcome you to this Zindiac video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to use your PeopleCert exam voucher. You'll get this exam voucher when you purchase a training course from Zindiac. When you do so, we order the exam voucher from PeopleCert and PeopleCert will email it directly to you from passport at peoplecert.org. So if you don't receive the exam voucher within 24 hours, please check your spam folder because it's almost certainly there. If you still can't see it, contact us because we get a copy as well and we can send it to you directly. So without further ado, let's look at the interface. So the first thing you need to do is open up a web browser and type peoplecert.org, head over to the PeopleCert website. Once you get to PeopleCert website, if you haven't got an account already, create one. If you have, sign into your account. So select your email address and type in your password or enter your password in whatever way you do. And that will take you into your account. And there you can see at the top it says have an exam code from your training organisation, if so, enter it here. So copy and paste the 16 digit code from the email and hit confirm. My voucher is for a mock exam. Yours will be for an actual exam, but the same principles apply. Select your exam language. So in my case, English. Hit confirm. At this stage, you will be offered the opportunity to book your actual exam. It will offer you a list of dates and times. You don't have to book it straight away. If you don't, your exam will be shown under the overview tab under my exams as my mock exam is there. Also, if your exam voucher comes with an ebook, click on my ebooks and you'll see your ebook there under the list of my ebooks. You can see I've only, only got one in my account. Now once you've booked your exam, you will be able to see it under the overview tab under my exams. And on the day and time of the exam, you'll be able to click start and start the exam. Now your exam won't take place in a web browser as the mock exam does. Your exam will take place using Exam Shield, but the interface is very similar. But Exam Shield ensures that you're running no other software. The first thing you'll be asked to do is confirm your candidate details. So check them and then click Next. You then have to agree to the non-disclosure agreement. Basically, it's saying you won't disclose the exam contents in any way. To accept the terms and conditions, click on the next button. When you're ready, you can start the exam by pressing start exam. Now, obviously I'm not going to show you the questions because I've just clicked on the NDA to say I won't, but I can show you the interface and I want you to notice a couple of things. First of all, in the top right hand corner, there is a clock counting down, showing you the amount of time you have remaining. On the left hand side, you'll see the list of questions from 1 to 40. And each of them at the moment is in grey because I haven't answered any yet. But as I start to answer them, they'll turn orange. Also, next to each exam question, there's the small flag symbol. If I click on a flag symbol, then it will turn red. And if I wish, I can go back to that question at the end of the exam and check and perhaps change my answer if I choose to do so. I can jump to any question at any time during the exam by clicking on any of the tabs for that particular exam question. So you don't have to answer the questions in order from 1 to 40, but I very much advise you to do so. There is no advantage 
to doing the questions in any other than the sequential order in which they're presented. So I'd answer question one, hit next, answer question two, hit next, and so on until you get to the final question forte where you will be presented with the option to end the exam. A confirmation dialogue will pop up asking if you're sure you want to end the exam. So if you're sure, hit yes. You may then be asked to complete a short questionnaire on your overall experience. If you are, just answer the five questions and then click on the button that says submit and show my results and you will see your results straight away. Phew, I passed. And as you can see, it took me just under 22 minutes to complete the exam and I really recommend you don't try and complete it any quicker than that. For most people, 20 to 40 minutes is about par. You can print or export your results to a PDF file to save on your device. Your exam result is also available to view in your PeopleCert account. Initially under the Overview tab, but always under Exam History. I hope you've enjoyed this brief video showing you how to use the PeopleCert exam voucher. If you are interested in gaining any Axelos PeopleCert certifications, do head over to zindiac.co.uk where you can purchase training, the exam voucher and the ebook at an unbeatable price. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Do take care.